Hi, Esther. Did you see that big truck parked down the street today? I sure did. Looks like the neighbors are having some new carpet installed. That should be exciting. I guess the workers will take out the old carpet and lay down the new carpet. Yes, and then there will be new carpet that will feel good to walk on. I wonder if the carpet falls asleep when it's laid down. Because I usually fall asleep when I lay down. Oh, Emmett, that's funny. You know, Jesus said that he laid down his life. That's an odd thing to say. But then, it is Jesus we're talking about. Jesus said that he laid down his life in order to take up his life again. This just gets more and more odd. Jesus also said that he was a good shepherd. You mean he looked after sheep too? He sure was busy. He meant that he cared about people the way that shepherds care about sheep. I don't know any shepherds. Are they good to the sheep? Yes, they are. But since neither of us has ever met a shepherd, Maybe we could talk about someone other than a shepherd. That sounds like a good idea. Whom should we talk about? Well, how about a school crossing guard? Was Jesus a crossing guard too? No, but he cared about people the way a crossing guard cares about the school children on their way to and from school. Yeah, our school crossing guard is really nice. When we get to the corner, she says hello to us. She even knows our names. And then she tells us to wait while she holds out a stop sign and walks into the street to stop all the traffic. And then, when all the cars are stopped, she tells us we can safely cross the street. And then she stays there until we get to the other side. She's really nice. Yes, yeah, she is. And what is most important to her is that the children stay safe. We might say that she lays down her life for the children. We might. I'm not sure I know what that means. Well, it means she could be doing other things at home. She could be watching TV or shopping. She could be going for a walk, but she puts all those other parts of her life down. She's not doing them in order to be there to make sure the children are safe. So she lays down her life in order to help us. Yes. I think that's what Jesus meant when he said that he laid down his life for others. He cared about other people because God cares about all the other people. I think I get that. But you said Jesus also said that he took his life up again. Well, maybe he meant that when he was helping other people, he discovered that he was living as God wanted him to live. So that after he had helped some people, he found out that now he was always looking for ways to help other people. His life was about loving people like God loves them. So I don't have to have sheep to lay down my life and help other people? No, we can always help others. Holding a door open for someone, wearing our masks when we are around other people, smiling at people from a safe distance. Wait a minute. Wasn't Jesus also a carpenter? Yes, he was. Wonder if he would know how to lay carpet. Oh, Emmett, I don't know about that, but he knew how to lay down his life so that he could share God's love with others. And that's something we can all do. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs>